Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV. And if you're new to our channel and enjoy our content, then please do us a favor and subscribe for more. I'm Shannon, and today I'm going to be giving my review of the DC Comics Hanna Barbera published Green Lantern Space Ghost Number One: The Wonders of Space. So stay tuned. <laughs> The Green Lantern of Sector 2814, Hal Jordan, received a distress signal from outside our universe. He remains in contact with Salak, who is monitoring from the Green Lantern homeworld. When transmissions break up between the two, Hal comes across Lorflees, who also received the distress signal about a weapon that he's come to claim as his own. It's here that both Green Lantern and Orange Lantern meet Space Ghost for the first time. Kind of. He's invisible, but then becomes visible once Zorak, Space Ghost's arch enemy, shows up with an army to also claim the weapon. Space Ghost and Green Lantern crash into a planet below and discover they're both space cops and begin a working relationship. The two learn that this planet had been confined by those who govern it. There is no one else. There is nothing else. There are no stars or planets other than this planet and their sun. You see, those who govern don't want their people to go out and explore and to hope and dream. It's against the law to say or believe there's anything more than them, and to say otherwise is blasphemy. It turns out the transmission came from a local scientist who spent his life building what in their language is called a weapon, but is actually a ship to explore the stars. Within the story, Space Ghost and Green Lantern end up with each other's weapons. Space Ghost ends up using Hal's Green Lantern power ring, while Hal ends up using Space Ghost's power bands. Green Lantern at one point is forced to scare off the army that's attacking them on the planet, but in order to do so, he has to think of something that's so frightening that everyone, no matter what universe you're in, would fear. And then it comes to him. His ring projects an image the size of a building, the image of Batman. The story plays out very similar to Lethal Weapon. Two cops who don't understand each other and are confused with each other at first have to come together as friends in order to work together for the greater good. The story was simply okay. There wasn't really anything special about it other than being a team up between Space Ghost and Green Lantern. It wasn't very original. In fact, it was quite the opposite. A buddy cop drama playing out with superpowers? Not only that, but the entire story reeked of Star Trek in all honesty. Where Star Trek has the prime directive of not interfering in the natural progression of other planets and cultures, both Green Lantern and Space Ghost went the exact opposite way with it, taking it upon themselves to prove the people of this planet wrong. Plus, if that wasn't bad enough, we have Hal who in order to fend off his attackers only manages to think of creating a giant image of Batman to scare them off. Pre-Jeff Johns, this might not have been a too bad. However, Jeff pretty much made it clear that neither Hal Jordan nor Bruce Wayne really care much about the other. Constantly butting head, with Hal Jordan even going as far as to punch out Batman shortly after being resurrected by Gantt and Kyle Rayner in Green Lantern Rebirth. Not to mention most Green Lanterns don't really care for Batman anyway with Guy Gardner even going as far as mooning him on at least one occasion. Plus the fact that Batman uses fear to fight his enemies while Green Lantern uses willpower, the two are complete polar opposites. It's very unlikely that Hal Jordan, the greatest of the Green Lanterns, a man whose willpower is second to none, would choose to use fear to fend off an opponent, as opposed to being more creative and using his own willpower. And furthermore, that that same Green Lantern would choose, of all things, Batman to scare off his enemies is incredibly unlikely, especially when you consider their tense relationship. Overall, I'd say this was just an okay comic. If I had to rate it, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Though it was better than the Scooby-Doo team-up between Green Lantern and Green Arrow, it wasn't by much. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.